Hi, and welcome to Interactive Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a memory game. This game allows you to search for identical cards, or cards similar in meaning. First of all, sign in to your profile on interactive.me to start. To create a memory game, click the Template Gallery button at the top of the screen. Select Memory. You will see different templates. The Preview button will allow you to preview the template. We're going to choose Start from Scratch option to show you the whole process from the start. Let's click Edit. The editor allows you to efficiently set up your quiz settings. Click Edit to get started. Choose a layout and card proportions. For a better result, use Preview on the right side of the screen. I'm gonna keep the standard settings. Let's change the back of the card by clicking Change button. There are two ways to upload a new image directly from your computer or using the Unsplash library. My library section contains images you previously used in other projects. They can be uploaded from Unsplash or from your computer. To add an image from your device, click Upload Media. Unsplash library is direct access to the Unsplash stock photo service. We're going to use this option. Let's enter a subject into the search. I'm gonna create a geography quiz. So in my case, it will be, let's say, map. Select the image you like. I love this one, for example. I check this box and click place image. Now you can see your image on the back of your card. You can also add a cover to your quiz by clicking Show Cover button. I'm going with Can you match tourist attractions with a country? And button text is going to be Yes. You can check how it looks by using Preview on the right side of the screen. It's done. After setting up the Playground field, go to the Pairs section. Optionally, you can add an explanation to the pairs by clicking on the gray slider. When user found a pair, he will see a pop-up message with your explanation. To add a pair of image, click on the camera icon. Let's add a first picture. I'm going to use Unsplash library again. Write library in the search field. I choose this picture. Check this box and click Place Image. OK, good. I want to make a second card a little bit different. The card will appear as a text, not image. To do this, click on the text icon. So we know that Statue of Liberty is the national monument of the United States. That's why I'm going with United States. We can also change the background color if needed. Let's pick red, for example. Click on Save button. And now our first pair is ready. User will have to match Statue of Liberty with the country name to complete this quiz. Let's do the same with the other pairs. For the second pair, I'm gonna go with Eiffel. Choose this picture, click Place Image. Our text will be France, since we know that Eiffel Tower is located in France. Change the background color, click Save. Next pair is gonna be about Italy. We're searching for Pisa. Pizza. 
Select the picture you like, click place image, add a text, perfect. Let's add the Great Wall of China to the fourth pair. And add a text. We're done with pair section. We can finally jump to the final screen tab. Users will see this result right after they successfully complete our game. Look at the preview on the right side of the screen to get an idea of what the final screen of your game will look like. I feel header with well done and description with you have found all the pairs. You can also add an image by clicking change button. I'm gonna search for geography. Choose this picture, click place image. We're done. Click save when all settings are ready. If you want to use additional settings, click anywhere in the workspace of your project. On the right side of the screen, you will see a panel of advanced settings. Check Number Card Packs box if you want to add a number for all of your cards. In the time before flipping cards field, you can set the time that user will spend for remember the card. Normally, one second is enough. You can also add a call to action button by checking this box. Call to action button is usually a link to your website, product, or service. It's also possible to set player ratings and timer in gamification block. Click the preview and evaluate the current state of your project. Try your quiz and don't forget to rate how it looks on different devices. To do this, Switch between the phone and personal computer icons. If you notice an error or decided to fix anything, return to the editor by selecting this menu item. Don't forget to select the title for your project. This will make it easier to find it. After that, you can safely click the Publish button. Your project is ready. You can share with your friends by sending a link or choosing any other convenient way. Let's view our project. As you can see, our project works perfect. Keep in mind that you can always return to editing your template again by clicking the Edit button in My Projects tab. You can also check statistics by clicking this button. Good luck!